Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video, we are going to go over some consignments, some stuff that I bought, and uh, yeah, that's probably about it. We might look into like an old Beckett magazine. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool, but yeah, I've been I've been super busy these past few days. Uh, we're going to start off with some of the stuff here uh, that we have going up for sale and auction. Check this one out. Starting off with something that's super low pop. It's one of those cards that's not very expensive other than the Gem Mint 10. This one has a nice swirl right there. So when I looked over this card, the front actually looks pretty nice. Usually you see print lines in there. It's very possible that there are some I just couldn't make them out or it looked like the plastic to me. Like if you get the right angle, see how they almost look like they're going vertical. But I think that's the plastic. On the back, the, the condition was okay. There was actually a few white dots. Well, maybe just the, they got that one there. If you look real hard, it almost looks like that has a little bit of edge wear right there, and maybe a tiny white dot up there. But overall, nothing that stuck out. And you know, I don't even have one of these in my personal collection. But I could not. When the guy sent it to me, I was like, I can make an offer, but it's not going to be anywhere near where the most recent sale just happened. And so uh, we decided, go ahead and put. The, or he decided that he wanted to send it to auction. And uh, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. Uh, Next up, another big purchase. So I bought this off of PWCC, or maybe it was Golden, maybe it was Heritage. And I get those three confused because they're all basically the same now with their higher premium stuff going on. But all right, so I paid a lot of money for these, and the reason I did was because the Worlds 05 is seemingly very scarce in the the PSA set registry on like how many's been graded, and. Uh, so I've got the top 32, the top 16, the semi-finalist, the quarter-finalist, and the finalist. Which I think there was like two of these graded, like one of them, or no, it was like one of one of these. Maybe it was the semi-finalist, maybe it was a quarter, I don't know. The, I think the most was the top 32 at like seven total copies graded. Very few tens. I don't think these are going to get tens just because of the centering, but still, really nice. Um, I do plan to grade them myself. Next up, I have a magnifier. I uh, got this one off a guy on eBay, I believe. I got this off of a dude on eBay. Magneton First Edition. This was a couple thousand bucks. Again, this is a low pop, but this one's from our personal collection. And then I think I got this one off of PWCC, the Polyrath. In fact, I got a few more cards off of them. This is a PSA 10 First Edition. Condition looks great. I was fine with it. I think I got it for just under 5000 See, I'm buying big things and buying little things, kind of like just buying into the market right now. I'm always just trying to steadily buy, no matter what the market's doing. Got several Ancient Mew. My buy price on Ancient Mew sealed right now is twenty dollars. I lost a deal on one guy because he was wanting to sell me a thousand of them or eleven hundred of them, and but he, I didn't know who he was. He was wanting me to send a bank wire. Uh, without having the product in hand, which I don't do that personally. So he's like, alright, let's do PayPal. And I'm like, alright, let's do PayPal. And then he wanted me to pay his seller fee. And I'm just like, you know what? This is too complicated. <laughs> and then he ended up coming back with an email later on saying, hey, I found somebody to buy 3,000 Ancient Muse from me for 60,000 straight up. And I'm like, okay. So I don't know. If, I, I doubt the guy ever had this stuff, but maybe he did. And somebody's out there got 3,000 Ancient Muse. That would have been nice to have. I've never bought that many at once. I think I've most of all is 1,200 at once. Uh, next up, i got a No Damage Nine Tails. got this from a guy on Instagram. I should have asked for a picture of the back, but I didn't. I looked at this, and I saw it was three sub nines and then a 9.5. I was like, oh, this would be better than my PSA 9. But when I got to the back, you know, it was pretty obvious this card should not have been a 9. But, um, well, it looks pretty dang good. And on camera but you can see there's whitening right there white there, there's all kinds of little white dots on the bottom and then like that whole side has issues but maybe they were looking at it from like out here <laughs> and then they saw it and they gave it an eye on everything I don't know but you know this is BGS I, sh I mean it's kind of par for the course a lot of times you don't like, it's very variable you know the black label 10 does bring a premium and you pretty much know what you're getting with a black label like you're getting a really nice card, uh, man. These other grades that they have, a lot of time it could, it could be all over the place. Like a BGS nine could be really really nice, or you know could look like that. I also picked these up off uh, PWCC. 
Many of these cards I sold from my personal collection for way less than I'm paying now. But I picked up a 9 and then I also picked up a 9.5 on the 4 position only. Blast loses. See those there? They kind of look similar to me. But, you know, one got the 9.5, the other got the regular 9. Blastoise, I don't see pop up as much. It was more scarce than the Charizard. They're all ridiculously rare, but again, they're like one of those non verified type cards. Alright, I have. Let me fold under this information. Here we go. Hi Rusty, I've enjoyed your videos as well as your posts on E4. Always a good time when you stop by the Discord. Man, it's been a while since I've been in any Discord, so I think I joined like an Air Discord a while back and then. It was just too much getting in those things. I thought you would also get a good chuckle out of this 1999 collector's guide from Beckett. It was a fantastic time to be a kid. All the best to you and your family, Andrew. And then you can see his handle on E4 and Instagram. So I bought a Southern Island binder off of him. I got to pick up another one of these. My buy price on these, it's still, I must, I'm still sitting at 1600 There's a lot of people who still want the kind of like the $2,500 range, which I'm just not buying at that price. I should have picked up all those ones. I had like three or four come through my hands. They all sold for about $2,000 uh, in my eBay store, but then that, the buyer cleared about $1,600. I probably could have made an offer after the first few had sold. So this is what's cool. All right, so this is a Beckett Pokemon Collector Magazine, and... I didn't notice this when I first opened up before. Check it out. It actually talks about... I know what they're going to say. That's the fake one. I actually have that exact Shadowless Charizard, that counterfeit one. Sometimes people still to this day think that's a real Shadowless card. But yeah, that was the type of counterfeit that you had um, going around back then. It was pretty obvious, especially because of the hollow foil. Like there was a few uh, uncut sheets of that fake... Um, like with the Charizard, I can't remember what else they had on Nine Tails. Yeah, I think it was like a Jungle Clefable or something. And um, they were trying to sell the uncut sheet on eBay. And um, I actually made an offer of like 500 bucks. I'm like, this thing's fake, but I'd like to have it just for historical purposes, um, showing where this come from. And they were, con I think they were convinced it was real or it was worth way more than that. I don't know what ended up happening to it. But some of these prices are pretty cool. Check this out. Even back then, there's an 8.5 Charizard. Rated by Beckett. It's pretty cool, huh? I wonder if it actually talks about the price. Maybe you guys can screenshot it and see it. But I want to show you some of the prices. Let's see. Hey, look. There's the Cobra, the Arbok. <laughs> I guess it was based off of that one. Arbok and the King Cobra certainly have a striking resemblance to one another. Yeah. Arbok is Cobra backwards. Alright, let's see what else we have. Well, I'm trying to get to the first page of the guide, but there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. Because the price guide was pretty funny, looking at some of the old prices. If I can get to it. Alright, so. Alright, so here's the first edition base set. So that would, that would, or, you know, compared to Unlimited. I want you to check it out. So it says the complete set, Unlimited, is $750. But first edition is $1,000. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a little weird. Um, booster box, $1,400, $1,700. Unlimited and first edition should be that close, but maybe they were back then. I really wasn't around for that. Uh, but... I think what they would be, I think what they're comparing is like Shadowless Unlimited and First Edition Unlimited. This is before the regular Unlimited had had all those printings. It did show that, the, you know, you've got shadowed cards in here, but when I'm looking at the Unlimited here, they're showing Shadowless. So I'm not sure what that's all about. And um, it's got several in it. Like, see, the Kakuna is a UER, which means a uncorrected error error this card does not have a corrected version but it did in regular limited so maybe they just weren't up to date with that um, 
and you can see right here NNO no number this card does not contain a number in the bottom right hand corner I haven't checked it to see what that is this does have some like Japanese stuff in here so it'd be I'd be curious to see if they had like base set with that but I, I highly doubt it yeah they don't they don't have the the, the variations there but look Japanese um, they've got it you know in two columns like there's an unlimited and a first edition but maybe they mean the no rarities for, I mean I don't know what they're referring to there because they're not even picturing you know that stuff there so I'm sure there's something going on with all that because there's two different price columns so maybe there it's a condition variance that they're pushing in there because I haven't went through and read everything but it's kind of cool to see these prices you know the Charizard even back then you know it was pretty expensive 175 250 you know 250 is probably a little high because I remember when I was buying Charizards kind of full force into it in the beginning they were about a hundred bucks or so yeah they were pretty expensive but and that was still two or three years after I'd really got into it so they were I bet they were even cheaper before that and so um, I remember in the beginning when I was a kid I remember seeing one for about 60 bucks on a shelf and um, who knows maybe it wasn't actually first edition maybe it was unlimited but there's all kinds of cool stuff in here. What is that? There's a tournament calendar. Check that out. They have North Carolina had them in Durham. Contact Mike Kelly. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I wonder if any of these phone numbers still work. All right, let's move along. Got one more box. I'm going to show you guys some stuff that uh, is also going up into auction. Here we go. Yeah, we're pulling out the good stuff first. We have a Charizard Gold Star 6. We have a Scream Eevee. Then we've got an Entei Gold Star Mint 9. Got a Mario Pikachu Full Art Mint 9. Raikou Gold Star Gem Mint 10. Got a Regice 9. Regirock 9. And then we also have a, a Rallet 10. We have a Shining Gyarados First Edition PSA 8. And we also have a Suicune Mint 9. Really good stuff. These all have some of the CS2 that would be CS2 in the title. They also have an evolution booster box. Which I'm not sure what those are going for now. I would think probably still around six, seven hundred bucks. Then we have an ultra shiny GX box. And they're also doing a complete scream set in Gem at 10. So you get the Mimikyu, the Psyduck, Pikachu, Rallet, and Eevee. So you get all five of them. In which those some of those are pretty tough to get. All right, next up, these actually come back on a PSA return that I had graded for somebody. Finally, come back from September 2020. September 2020. Everybody's talking about November, December. This was September. <laughs> All right, so we have Celebi Junior Rally. Uh, these are pretty cool cards. We've got a 20th anniversary Charizard in the nine. And we have uh, two of these Neo 2 Charizard Reverse Hollows. We got a Darkness Blaze Zard. We got a Clefable and Entei. This is a seven from the Junior Rally. Gengar ten. Kind of curious to see where that one goes. A nine on the Lugia. Ten on the Machamp. Nine on Magby. Ten on Mew. Another really nice card. Maybe one of those cards was like, you know, if somebody doesn't pay, you know, maybe, maybe I'll see what the price is and I'll take a stab at it myself and see if the buyer would just let me pay for whatever the buyer didn't pay for. Because I tell you what, every day I get so many people just not paying. They're like, hey man, cancel my bid. Hey man, cancel my bid. Don't want this. Found a better price. Yeah, I'm not paying that. Forget my bid. I mean, it's crazy. And all of these come with some kind of weird excuse. <laughs> man, I should have made a list of excuses though. So I stopped on this because I really like the artwork on this Mewtwo. Um, man, he's just like doing a Kamehameha or something, you know. Well... A one-handed Kamehameha. <laughs> there we've got a Nine Tails Pichu. So they're coming out with a new Pichu. You got the Expedition. Here's a Junior Rally, and um, or it may already be out. I, I don't even know. I, I just I've been hearing everyone talk about it. First Pichu in a long time. Got a Pidgeot, Mega Tokyo's Pikachu. Got a Scream Pikachu Tan. There's the Junior Rally Pikachu. There's the Mewtwo right there. Uh, is that the same stance? Yeah, probably the same stance. You can see that's just part of the other card. Got the Skarmory in a 10. Very tough to get on the English side. And there's a the Venusaur. And these are all CS5. Then we have one more. I think it's one more. Let's double flipped around. 
All right, CS22, we have a Grim Reaper. This is Metazoo Nightfall. We have a Mothman Hollow. We have a Mothman Reverse Hollow. We've got the Wendigo Reverse Hollow. We've got a Clefairy First Edition base set, PSA 8, a Dark Arbok. So there's that Cobra again, Team Rocket Returns Reverse Hollow. We've got a Shadowless Gyarados. Remember, I went out to Indiana, picked up a huge collection, and in a rubber band, there was like 20. Shadowless Gyarados. Actually, it was more than that. It was like 40 or 50 of them. It was just all Shadowless Gyarados. No 10s. Most got 9s and a few got 8s. Got a no rarity symbol. That's what I was kind of looking for to see if there was a no rarity symbol section in Beckett. But back then, you know, a lot of this stuff wasn't even on. Uh, the shadow, the no damage 9 tails wasn't on there either. Got a Magneton. First edition PSA 9. Same thing with the Nido King. Got some Team Rocket Returns Hollows. One of the coolest sets. Um, in the EX series in my opinion. We've got the scissors, the rocket Suicune, the rocket Zapdos, and we're gonna finish up with a shining Arceus. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna try to remember, if I don't I'll do it in the next video or the next video, uh, to run that random comment generator and pick a comment from the past video where we're giving away all that stuff that was um, given to the channel. In fact, here's some more codes while I finish up while I'm talking. I really appreciate all you guys and your patience. Got a lot of consignments and stuff coming in. I'm trying to prioritize that. And, you know, you're going to see all the same stuff. It just may be spread out in a few extra videos um, or kind of kind of combined in spread out videos every few days rather than having shorter videos in, uh, every day. But anyways, thanks guys for watching and I'll have another one coming out very soon. Thanks.